I am yeah, ready to go live. It asked me if I'm ready to go live, and here I am. This is a few minutes late, but I was dead set on getting this orientation night for the top-down camera, <laughs> and I did it. Jim came in at the last minute. I thought I had it figured out during our test this morning, and he had one tip for me, and that was it. We had to start upright. Remember that, guys. Those of you who broadcast live. Hi, hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me. So, yes, um, Brenda Slater. We have a few little things to do, little maintenance bits before we get started on our tutorial. But to whet your appetite, believe it or not, I was going to wear this, but I thought too much color, too much color on color, and this is going to get lost. So, you can see this is the beauty here. You've seen the beauty shots um, that I've been putting on. Um, all my little ripple ads and all this stuff. So we're going to be showing you how to write with wire. Uh, we're going to show you how to write one word, the word love. So if you had to only use one word, that would be the one to choose, right? <laughs> so, but before that, let me just say that uh, we're getting more and more uh, submissions in for the um, the um, Beads of Courage. And we'll just give them a little um, plop that right up there. Okay. No, no. Oh my goodness. Where is my overlay? You no, know I had to, to do it each time. Yeah, I guess I have to do it each time. Anyway, so thank you everyone. I know Sally is watching and she uh she had um some things. Um thank you, Debbie. Uh, she had a piece that I'm working on that same, Sally. <laughs> and um, also, um, a lot of you did too. I think Roxy, you need to, to, um, to, to, to join us. This is our third segment or session with, um, we've been doing this talk for almost a year, uh, where I collaborate with you. I either give you something or you do something on your own, send it back. This is all for Beads of Courage, and as you guys know, um, it's, a, it's a cause that's near and dear to my heart and a lot of people's hearts. They're right here, just up the road a little bit, um, half an hour in Tucson, and their mission is that they will give beads to uh, children with um, life-threatening diseases. Um, and each of those beads means uh, something else, um, a blood draw, a procedure, um, you know, a night in the hospital, something like that. And then that gives them a way to talk about what is going on with them, gives them a narrative and form. So that's why we love them. And so we've been doing different segments. This segment that we're doing now is all about deep stats. Got a few things left in my Etsy, uh, in my Etsy site here. Um, and if you want to grab those, you can use something from your own deep staff, guys. And um, so. The deadline was extended from January 24th to February 24th, but I think now we can even put it a little bit further. Let's go to, let's see here. I think if we get things in by March 1st, I'm hoping, I might have said two different things here, um, that we will still, um, still be able to get them um, in the loop for um, an auction that will do with the Tucson gem shows that have been rescheduled till April. I keep wanting to say August, that's why I'm like till April. <laughs> so anyway, be on the lookout. We're always talking about it here, but I wanted to show you some more things we got in. Now, I never have trouble with uh, with USPS, but we I did have one deep dash item that was purchased um by our friend Cindy Lee Day and it came and the pieces, the palm shaped pieces. I'm so sorry, Cindy, if you're on team um broken. And I just wish we just didn't have enough time with everything going on to um to read to have me resend something to her. Um but what happened uh is I said, well some people are bringing things from their own deep desk. Uh, or just pieces that they um, that they have on hand uh, for the cause. And so she sent a pair of uh, earrings and a necklace. Aren't they gorgeous? So, whoopsie, this is the work that our friend Cindy does. Let's go to the down camera here. Let's add that one back in. We're going 
to how do we do this? Let's do um, this one. <laughs> and we'll bring this one right over here. So this is, and this is gorgeous. This is all this beautiful, beautiful um, wrapping. And this is what she does. And I believe this is um, this is a beautiful stamping that's been uh, enamel or something like that. So there's the pendant. I think this might be the back. This might be the front. It might be in, uh, you know back and forth. I think this might be the front. And um, yeah, I think so because we've got this sort of back and thing going on here. And then the matching earrings. So, so pretty. Uh, if you don't already follow Cindy, um, please do. She is amazing. And a few weeks ago, I shared with you what was happening with um, with our friend Linda Larson. She uh, it just sent one more thing. <laughs> so I think Linda is probably one of the most prolific uh, viewers that I know. She just makes and makes and makes, and she's very quick. I was in a class with her, a Robert Evans class, and that girl, I got head down and I'm working, 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 working. I'm so touchy. Um, but she's also very fast and good. And um, she's just done way before everyone else. This beautiful piece. Kate Love. <laughs> and so this is the new piece that she has sent to us. Isn't this gorgeous? So she's doing things with, if you guys remember, if you missed that show, you can kind of go back and um, look for it. But this is, she's doing things with coins. And I love how it's off center a little bit. She said, what did she say? Yeah, okay. So, maybe I can just look at this. I'll try to hold it a little bit more. She said, this is a French five centime piece. C-E-N-T-I-M-E. -E. I like the model from the French Revolution. Liberty, equality, fraternity. The coin is from 1925, and it's copper and nickel. Looked it up. <laughs> the entire setting is a stone silver. Very valuable. <laughs> Happy to help, Linda. So this is her, if you, if you guys will remember, um, she has, um, let's see if it's getting used to my new switcher. Linda gave, uh, I sent her uh, one coin, she made a, 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 um, a ring with that, a gorgeous ring. Then she uh, offered another um, custom ring, custom to size, wait a minute, this one was, oh, you know, the size seven. Seven and a half to eight, I think. I think, I think. Something just happened in my, my thing, so let me know if you can still hear me. Um, anyway, so she's done, let's go back to comments. Um, so she's got that one and, and a custom one that she's going to do, and then she also sent those earrings. All for the kids. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Makes my heart go. Um, so um, that's what I wanted to tell you about the uh, Beads of Courage. Now you guys know that coming up starting tomorrow is the Great Beads of Avenida. And this thing, this thing that I'm a part of is absolutely amazing. Um, this is the placard that they, that Mile has made for me. Isn't it great? Um, so my particular session is going to be Sunday. I like to end things off. Um, and so I'm also going to be um, going uh, live at 3.30 p.m. Um, Pacific, which is 4.30 my time. And you guys can help do that um, time zone math um, if you want. Um, and then um, what I'll be doing as a project for that lovely thing is, look, 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 look. Is this fun little uh, thing? It's not so so little. This mixed media piece with a little uh, Troya brand, and we've got some Jean Turquoise, some John Deed, and that beautiful, beautiful heart pendant. Um, that's some John Deed as well. Uh, we had to do a lot of things underneath there.
mute mic. Can you hear me? Maybe this is right. Let's see if, I, if this will work here. Let me see one more time if I can get this powered on. Power on, she says. All right, let me see if we can't get this going right. All right. All right. Is it perfect now? Is it perfect now? I wonder if that was what was going on. You know, all the. Okay, how about this? Oops. Now are we getting some reverb? Ah. All right. But now I wonder if I if I'm going to be hearing myself. Okay, I'm going to mute this one. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? Good Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's interesting how it works perfectly on the, um, let's see if I can mute it there. Can I, no. I might just have to hear myself. It'll be great. Um, so it worked perfectly on the test this morning, you guys. I am organized and this is very, very frustrating. Okay, so now it's great. Any reverb? And I'm getting it coming out of my... Where is that other one here? I have one more, one more hack. I think I got it. I think I've got it. I'll just have to remember all these for next time. There we go. All right. I think this is it. I think I did it. All plugged in. Hopefully there's not a fire. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, good lord. So another five minutes down the train. <laughs> you guys are the best for hanging in there with me. Um, so there we go. So we got all the comments done, and now I think uh, three for the price of one. <laughs> you, you you should see what's going on here. There, the, there's so much stuff that has to happen uh, with this plugged into that, and you know the, the everything. Even but but if this seems to be the way it needs to go, 
I'm all about that. All right. So, hi, Spidey Stamps. How are you? Good to see you again. So, you guys, um, also, so I was talking about the Great Beat Extravaganza. Let's go back to that. I just want to show you um, some of the things that are going on. All of our, we call ourselves the original 17, and we absolutely love this. We've got, look at this lineup. Oh, my God. And then um, I'm so excited to be um, last, but I'm also hosting the Desert Walk that's going to be first. These are all of our friends that are going to be presenting from Saturday morning um, all the way through Sunday evening, which is, uh, again, the last person will be me. Do not forget to sign up to enter to win. Just go to the Great Beat Extravaganza and there is a link there. I've been linking to this with every blog post imaginable. <laughs> um, so you have to enter each time to win. If you guys watched last time, but you didn't um, um, but you didn't sign up for this particular um, um, prize drawing. There's three of them. You can't see the three, but Candy's holding up three bags. She's in, in charge this time of uh, putting all the, the stuff together and getting it out. But in each one of those is going to be a now that's a hammer. And you guys know how beautiful those hammers are. So uh, along with that, um, the desert walk, which is where I'm going um, in um, just a little while, um, um, I'm going to be going to Tohono Chul, which is a beautiful desert park. I have never been to it before. And they've got not only the executive director, but a very knowledgeable docent who's going to be taking me around. We're going to be doing a little bit of, um, of interviewing um, and uh, filming that because it's really hard to do a desert walk when there's no live stream a desert walk when there's no, um, um, you know, upload speeds. So I just kind of want to let you know that. Now, um, so um, back to our tutorial today, we are, um, you know, that we've kind of been going and doing some fun stuff. Um, so in January, we did this beautiful kinetic link um, and we're working with all John Bede uh, goodies here and um, loving, absolutely loving the aluminum wire that they have on hand. And also, uh, so then we went to this, um, this connector bead thing. And the last two weeks, because there was so much content there, uh, we went for these sort of 3D um, uh, bar, long barbell links. I have to remember all of my titles, which are always very goofy. Um, and so this time what I thought we would do, we're switching to uh, February, which is going to be all about Preciosa crystals, absolutely adoring uh, these crystals with the aluminum wire, all that color. I mean, you, you cannot get that kind of a saturation of color um, um, without this aluminum. It's just so much fun and just brilliant and saturated and just yummy. So, um, and then, um, as I said, then Sunday night, we'll teach you how to do this mixed media one, come on back and hopefully I'll still have some good sound <laughs> and we'll get it all figured out. Okay. So without further ado, let's get rid of this one and we'll start making this other one, right? So, um, what I want to do is go back to the comments, see if, um, Who's ever saying it's very cool, Facebook user? I can't see your name, so I don't want to be rude, but um, just another little um, um, notification. We're going live through StreamYard, so if, if StreamYard asked you when you came on um, to um, sort of identify yourself or sign up with them, go ahead. That way I can see who, uh, <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about, this Facebook user is unidentified to me and you know how much I love you all and I can't um I can't want to see who you are hi Kara hi Kara it's first time so great to meet you Mwah. thanks for coming on I hope this isn't your last time so uh we're all about wire so that's what we're gonna do all right so let's bring this guy over here uh what I want to do too is I'm going to post in the comments here uh, these are the links. Hopefully they'll come up as links. 
Um, if not, just copy and paste them. Um, I wasn't sure what was going to go on. Um, but I did put the heart-shaped pendant on there as well because you might want to grab some of those before Sunday. I did sell out of all of the kits. I just made 12 because I've never done kits before. And um, I curated, you should have seen me sawing with my squirrel saw, all kinds of cute little Choya branch uh, pendants. And you heard it here first. I'm probably going to be doing some more, but probably smaller and just like more irregular pieces. Um, so that'll be um, some really super fun as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool beans. So I want to. What does this say here? Sometimes it looks, oh, I see. It ended up being two. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> the learning as I go, right? So. Now, what I want to show you is that you can see from how, um, well, you know what, here, this is, here's what I want to say is that Sarah and I came up with um, this cute, cute, larger love working with wire. So it's, it's fairly big. I mean, you could wear this if you're bold like I am. Not everyone is as bold as I am. Um, and so what I did was uh, came up with this bigger one. And then I thought, you know what, let's try to resize that down and see what's going on. I just want to show you too a little bit of this. So you can also, I just took and made some ear wires into clips. And so you could put this even on your Yeti cup. You know, isn't that cute? So... So I love that we could size that down and let's come up to back to here. Do, do, do. Uh, we could size it down to here. I did one in steel because I just wanted to see, you know, where that's going to end up on that, that uh, necklace that I have of, of my dad's where all my, my super cool stuff is. But then I started just making all kinds of loves. <laughs> Hmm. So, so shy about that. Um, and then what I thought is, I thought it would be cool to make them and put all kinds of loves around and dot them with crystal in the middle here. These are, um, these are these. These are Preciosa. This is Chuck Crystal, you guys. If you are having trouble getting and you know what's going on here with Swarovski, why not go to Preciosa? who is going to always serve the DIY network. So let's go into here. I'm going to post a comment and get this for you. These unfortunately have sold out. This is the, de this is the deal with, with Crystal right now is that there's this big old run on everything. So here's the SKU. I'm going to put it on here for you guys. S-K-U um, six, three, two, four. One two zero zero slash seventeen. These are eight millimeter. Let me see. You know, I'm past forty. Yep, eight millimeter. I'll well just leave these on. Whoops. Eight millimeter, and there's fifteen pieces to a strand. These are hematite. Ah, hematite, and they are called half coated. So I was asking uh, Carmi, our marketing director for um, John B. I'm like, okay, so I know, I hope I don't mess up because I know all the, from being a Swarovski ambassador for, um, for those years that I don't know if there's article numbers or if there's, there's um, you know, any terms I should stay away from. So I'm getting... I'm getting schooled and all of that. So, so that's a half coated. Now, um, let's go down to here, you guys, and see. I like the rounds for this particular one. You could use these bicone shapes, and that would look um, adorable as well, right? So just stick that in there. And any eight millimeter is going to fill the inside of this. Really cute. So, I mean, you know, if you've got them, use them. But also, would, I use the hematite because I'm all into coatings. But you could also use this one. This is the round. Uh, this is jet. And um, 
what's the difference between this one? So two zero zero. So you would just use the same SKU number, but then it's a dash fourteen for the jet. So I'll put that in. Same SKU, but dash fourteen for jet. Okay. So oops, there we go. So that's pretty cool. Huh. It looks like I am, I'm just all over the place telling you, <laughs> I don't know how, how that's happening. We'll have to ask our experts. Anyway, Kate is going to be, poor Kate Richberg. She's our like tech expert for our, our TGBE group. And she, we're just like all over the place asking her questions. But there's other people that are really knowledgeable too there. So, all right. So anyway, so when I got to this part, I'm like, you know what? I love this love being so small, but on, a, on this necklace, I really felt like it needed to be stabilized, right? Um, where is the link posted? Can you see it? I don't know, Facebook user. <laughs> so let's see, this is where the link posted. So um, you would generally, um, you would go on to johnbead.com. Um, and also, also, also always, let me just go to here, to the banners. And um, if you have any other, um, oh, that's not the right one, but you can join me on Instagram. <laughs> um, here we go. If you can't find something you need from John Bead, email them at info at johnbead.com. And also all of these templates and the instructions for this are going to be available at Bead Projects and PDFs from John Bead Facebook group and also um, if you can't wait, they're already downloaded, um, uploaded to um, brennishwaiter.etsy.com and you can get um, everything from there. So I just love how to do this, how I did this. So this is going to be some real fun. And there, since there are two gauges of aluminum wire, I'm using the smallest to both make the, the smaller um, love motif but then also to do a fun little wrap onto this more stabilizing, and I'm calling this Rockabye Cradle Link, um, which comes in three different sizes. Um, I will show you those. Let's grab this back up here. Like if I seem scattered, it's because I'm trying to get, well, I am, but I'm trying to get all this information in here. These, when I talk about the instructions and the, and the patterns, guys, this is a three pager right to show you how to get all this stuff done and that is both at that John Bead group page that projects and uh, bead projects and pdfs page um but also um at um at brandishwader.com so i've talked about this before but i want to reiterate probably every time that basically what we do every time we make a pattern, for those of you who have, have now that's a jig, still on sabbatical, working on it. So we have those available. When you go on to Etsy, make sure that you pick the now that's a jig pattern. It's gonna start in TAJ. Um, if you don't, we've made a pattern just for you guys, which is what we're gonna be teaching from today without the background. And you're basically just going to be, here's how we can make um, a, um, wires with letters. Someone said on one of the groups that, oh, this looks so hard, but it's not because all you do is just follow, follow the wire path, right? So, um, so here it is. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to, let's go top down again. I'm trying to use my, my bench block as a, um, <laughs> <laughs> as a whatever that is um but yeah let's kind of move this over here and this over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to go ahead and make this okay we're going to make it in this lovely i think this is called light copper wire and again these are the two so I'm doing a light copper and I'm doing a, an orange on top because it's just kind of fun to do this. Also, 
here's another uh, adaptation, guys, right? You're gonna do this, and, but instead you could add the other two Rockabye cradle links to the bottom and just make either without that a fun pendant brace, you know, for your necklace. If you just want to do one, you don't have to go over the top like I do. Um, and you can then add this for a third option. You know, I'm all about all of the options. So let's grab this. Might as well just put it on so I know where it is. Grab this all here. And, um, right. So we'll get all these guys out of the way now. Bye-bye, beautiful crystal. And we're going to put this up here. So here's that love pattern. Here's the Rockabye Cradle Link pattern. And basically you just follow that. If you've got something that is a mandrel, that is inch and a half, two inches, or I use this oval here for um, my small oval from the, now that's a jig, but you get the, you get the idea that basically you're going to follow this as a wire path and create right on top of it. Okay. So for this one, if you need to know, so here's the bigger one and here's the smaller one, right? Um, I just used um, a bigger inset here. So this black part, this is an inch mandrel. And what that means is it's a heap of love versus a bit of love, <laughs> um, is that basically I just wanted something that was going to, oops, let me give, get one of these beautiful things that was going to fit this perfectly in here. But if you want a smaller one, you can go and, um, and do that. So let's work with the smaller one today, guys. And by the way, hello everyone working on, that is, is coming to us on the repost everywhere. And here we go. Now, if you don't know, down here in the corner, we're gonna show you how much wire you need. Right here it says 10 inches length, and we're going to start with two inches going down from, I always start with our, our arrow there. So I'm going to go down to my trusty ruler here and cut off. We've got cords everywhere, guys. One of these days, it's all going to come crashing down. <laughs> okay. So it's pretty, pretty easy. So here all I'm doing is basically is I'm going to follow this okay I've worked about two inches up here and I'm just going to kind of hold this here and I'm going to just start forming this with my fingers right up to that and here if I want this a little bit straighter that's the cool thing about aluminum is I can straighten this with it with my fingers really quite readily okay I think Sunday there's so much to do with that um, uh, with that mixed media piece we'll probably just have them refer, refer so those who can say hello to you guys who are coming back at this for a little bit more. Um, see, isn't that great? You can just basically follow it and I'm making round forms and I'm making things, you know, I can pick this back up if I wanna go back at this and make things a little bit more round uh, with a mandrel, but I'm kind of just relying on my fingers and, and the wire to form what I want to form. I will tell you that if you do have a now that's a jig, it's a heck of a lot easier on there, but not everyone has one, right? Okay, so so I'm kind of to a part here where I wanna just kind of just do something that's really pretty um, pretty tight in here. So I can kind of come down here, right? But if I get to here and I want to make this tiny, tiny little guy here, by the way, these are great John Bead pliers. These are the John Bead Pros. 
Um, and so I'm just going to kind of add, kind of like put, position this in. I want that to be a little straighter. And I'm just going to mark this with my finger here. And this part, don't be afraid to pick it up and just do what you need to do with it, right? So I'm just going to take that and make a tighter link around with that. We'll get the hang of this too. And I, I know that I haven't done that. <laughs> um, and we can kind of straighten some things out later too. But let me just like, here's where I want another, whoopsie. Hello, Miss Sarah. How are you enjoying this new format, Sarah? Sarah, Sarah's our friend from Israel. Who joins us. It's pretty good. You know, I might want to just do a little more straightening when I'm kind of like getting up there. Okay. And then I'm going to come back down here. Mine isn't going to be, you know, perfect, perfect because I'm working <laughs> on camera. Right. By the way, you guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, I think I want this a little bit closer in here. So I'm going to get back in here. Whoops, let's keep it on camera, Bren. And can I come up here to the E? There we go. So I got that where I want it. And now I'm going to come back here. Now I remember I grabbed this, um, this one. There's a little bit of a change that we made here. I grabbed the wrong pattern, but we just tweaked it a little bit more for you because this is how you make it on the jig because of the way that the, um, the, the pegs are. This one comes down here and then you bend it up a little bit later. But since we're just doing this um, as a, you know, um, as a pattern as you go, um, we can, we just, we, we just took this part off here. I want to show you how you can kind of get up into here if you wanted to really make this very, very, very um, circular here. No, that's, that's too, that's too big. Is that I'm going to get back in here and make a round here with my pliers because I can always tease that back out again. Okay. See how that worked. So I just got in there with my round nose and I can make it a little bit bigger just by teasing it back out. Okay. And if you want to just mark it this way, you can do that. Go back in. And then I kind of left these, these two he here. I'm going to kind of mark them. That one, I'm just going to kind of go back in and down. But this one, I'm going to kind of, I know that this is going to take about three eighths to a half of a half an inch to make that size. So I'm just going to kind of mark this right here. And with my cutter and then go from the end and make that even a little bit bigger, I think. That beautiful round loop on the end. Now, if you guys want and you're thinking, I just want this to be a little bit more stable on here, go around twice, do that whole keychain thing, you know? Um, that's always um, and we kind of talk, well, I think, I think of my very first broadcast in, in uh, January, I taught that especially. So we're just going to kind of go down here. Okay. So, and as I said, you know, I wanted to maybe come back and straighten that out, get back in there with your, um, your flat nose, or your chain nose, whatever you've got handy. And then just do a little bit of tweaking.
Now, remember last time what we did too is that if you have a mandrel on hand or you just have a bale making pliers, these are also available from John Bede. Let me see if I can get this I'm a little bit nervous about because this is a little bit too big in here. I'm going to try that round again and kind of making that round. Oops, am I on camera, off camera? But you can remember how we went um, onto, onto that, um, now here. You can also do it with something like this. This is a rod, but this is also kind of big. But as I said, if you can get this in here and just form it, even with your fingers, you have the shape and then you can pull it down. Oops, where's the love? Into the shape that you want it. But you can also, what I was getting at is last time we kind of worked with a hoop mandrel, which is really nice to be able to, to work that way. Let's get rid of that one. And grab that and there we go. We've got another love. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sheila, don't be hitting that angry face. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. How are you feeling, my love? So also, I'm really enjoying this cute little hammer. This is a metal complex from John Bede as well. Um, and you can grab those anywhere John Bede is sold or again just contact them if you want to know where to get this cute little hammer at uh, johnbede.com or info at johnbede.com I'm still not really excited about this so I would I would probably put this back to my um, my hoop mandrel if I have it, you can find something, you guys, probably a Sharpie or something. I, I should have something around here that could just kind of let's make that a little bit more round. That's probably not the best thing. Anyway, I'm making it look hard. It is not hard at all. There we go. It's actually sweet. Okay. So there you got your love, made one love today. <laughs> um, so let's put that aside. And I, you saw I just kind of just tap that a little bit to, to make it a little bit more um, harder. While I've got this out, I'm going to just give myself some binding wire. You're going to need about six inches for this particular piece. Looks like I've never been in this, this particular role before. <laughs> Oh, that's good. So about six inches. I'm going to go with longer because I don't want to take the time to measure. And we're just going to set that aside for later. This is the, the um, link that I use for all of the, at the Love Ad Infinitum. And you can see here that it works really cute with that. If you wanted to use it for this one, you could, you have to kind of watch that V, it's gonna become an I in there, but you could do it. Um, but anyway, so for, the, for the, the bigger one here, you can see we're gonna need seven inches, okay? And I'm working with this 12 gauge and this is orange. These aren't marked, so I mark them myself because I want to be very specific. Um, all of the, on the instructions, all of the SKUs uh, are there, and this last bit is always the color code. So orange means 10 in John Bede land. Okay. So what I like to do is just take and I actually like these end nippers because that's that's your double flush cutter right there. And that, remember the last time I actually made myself bleed with these? <laughs> There's a little technique lacking there. 
But this, you can see, that's just a very nice blunt cut right there. So I'm going to go back to my, my um, thing, and I'm just going to make that right away. Actually, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to measure it. Now, I wonder if what happened with um, the sound was just that A, I don't know where I got that earbud. It was like a single earbud. Either it wasn't all the way, it was like not totally charged, or it was just a cheap pair. <laughs> so these work pretty good, though, these ones. All right. So I did that on both ends. Now, when you're working with the jig, um, what I would I wouldn't do that with uh, with that one, but because I know that I want this perfectly, and I think seven inches is exactly what I need. I think I could be lying. I'm gonna actually just put this in the in in here, and I'm gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna go halfway, and I'm going to go this way. Let let up. And then I'm going to bring it down so it's basically going underneath. And at that point, I can go back in with my chain to make a lollipop on top. But I don't need to here because I'm going to go down here. Now, this one is taking up a lot more room here. So I'm going to actually kind of back off of that. So, so here's how you can back off of and make a smaller loop, right? And you're just going to keep forming it um, to a different spot on your pliers. Okay, so I like that a little better. And I want to kind of make this a little straighter here again. Now, you do want to be a little more gentle with this. And some people would like to use, I think Neela uses a lot of that, that coating stuff. I just never got into that. I guess I'm just learned to do a little more gentle touch with this. Uh, or, and or, I'm not as fastidious. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just forming this, holding it down as you go. Okay. Yeah, seven inches is going to be too much. I forgot that I left that. So the thing, the thing about this method is that it is so much easier with aluminum wire, right? And so now I'm going to mark this here and I'm going to make my finished round. Now, if it's not this, you know, perfect, it's okay, right? I don't think anyone's going to walk up to you wherever you're wearing this and say, listen, I see that your links aren't completely the same. Okay, so this one's a little bit smaller, so I'm going to bring it out a little bit. Bring it, bring it up, make it a little bigger. And then get back in there with the, this side of my clutter here. So that's a nice flush. And I'm going to take that off. So if you guys wanted to, you could, how much is this? That's a full two inches. So you really only need five inches here on this one. And that's for the large. I might have to tell Sarah about that. Something got lost in the translation or something. So let's go ahead and tighten this guy back up here. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty good, huh? If you have a mandrel, which I do, that is that size, and you wanted to use that to make it a little more perfect, you could do that too. 
right? But you can start with that other method of just going straight down to the template. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, let's set that. I don't have to worry about any overlapping wire being a little gentler. There you go. And it really, it really puts some um, strength back into that. So now all we're going to do is basically is just take our love and we're going to attach it here. What I do is I've got seven inches. No, I think this is the six inches of wire. And I just went, what I try to do is I try to match one of the wires, but maybe your aesthetic is different. So I'm just going to kind of put these up. I'm going to hold this where I kind of want it. And then I'm gonna hold all three things at the same time. It's a little awkward at first, but I'm gonna go through that L, that bottom loop of the L. Kind of tight. And then I'm just gonna see how I can just do this with my fingers. Oh my God. If, if, if you want, and you're a tool person, just gonna grab, come back and grab this in here and make some nice, I even try to kind of just butt those up against each other. And make that nice and uh, tight. Okay, a couple different ways you can do this. On this one, I forgot how I did it. And so I did it a little different. In the instructions, I, I say you can just skip this O, which is probably pretty the easier way. So we'll show you how to do that. But you can go through the O if you want. Um, but I guess the the point is that you don't you don't have to, right? I'll keep the keep this going. And so I'm going to kind of hold this up against there. I'm going to keep going in the direction that the wire is already in, and go around here once and twice. And lay that O back down and then I'm ready to seat and grab that V where I want it. Pretty easy, huh? Just another loop, get the V and then another loop and I'm gonna get that E, bottom of that E. And you know, if you, if you need to rock it back, you can do that. Okay, rock this back. I'm going to put the E down next to it. And then I want to lift that tail of that E a little bit up. And I'm going to go two more times just to seal the deal on the end here. Super cute. Get that L. Going to get everything down where you want it. <laughs> Got to make sure that the word still makes sense, right? Um, and then I'm going to grab my chain nose. I'm just going to kind of put these back together a little bit. I'm going to grab and get in here with my nice and close. I kind of like to do some of this stuff on the back. And then I'm just going to gently just burnish this back down. It's not going to be touching your skin. And do the same thing to the other side. Thanks for bearing with me on the sound thing. I'm glad we got it figured out, you guys. I didn't realize what was happening. So now, now I know. Okay. So super, super cute. So you can see that this is the one um, without the added little swagger on the bottom here. And if you wanted to, you could add this on. And these are just jump rings that are um, made around um, you know, the biggest part of your, just one at a time around the biggest part of your, um, round nose players. Um, and then I thought it might be cute just because we're always tying things together, right? To add back in, I know it's going to be crazy. So we've got a lot of different colors going on here. I'm just really enjoying some of this. Um, thanks Sue Delay. 
Um, some of this color combination stuff. Now this would work, I could put this right on here. This loop is a little tiny for this 12 gauge aluminum wire. So probably what I would do is just grab another cute little piece of um, Irish wax linen, or I don't know if you've got some Ceylon around, Eslon, whatever you stitchers use. If Danielle's still here, she would be able to tell you. <laughs> um, and then that could be cute too. I just kind of like that, uh, that reverse pyramid kind of look there. And, um, you know, anytime we can add some sparkle and some love on, onto things, that is um, very doable. So uh, might be cute too. Also, lots of ideas, you guys, here is just to kind of finish off um, with, a, you know, with a pendant kind of going off here too, like this be kind of cute. I might do that one as another little thing. <laughs> so here we go. We have been going live for an hour, but we had to thank you so much again for, um, for sticking with me on that first part while we worked out the audio. Um, but now I know how to do it. Um, also, here's another tip for you is if you are using um, these big jump rings um, and, you know, you kind of into production, you want to do cut all your, um, your 12, 12 gauge stuff first, you know, do all your 12 gauge stuff, then move back to your 18 gauge stuff. Um, but that's just, you know, a little thing. I don't know if you guys are as into production as I am. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy McKenna. Looks like all of you guys are watching from Facebook, so which is not um, which is not um, surprising, but it looks like I I don't know what's going on with some of these other th things. I guess it's just showing me that um, that the comments are going to all these other places. Oh no, <laughs> I guess I'm the admin on all of those other 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 places, but so. Here's the deal. Is this is what's yeah. so glamorous on camera? What have I got going on here? Oh. Ta da! So here we go. This gorgeous, gorgeous thing. Um, that's about it. So I hope you will join me. I am. I can't wait to get up to Tohono Tool this afternoon and meet uh, my new friends up there and learn more about this place I live. You know, guys, a lot of you know that I'm a transplant to here from from Wisconsin, where I'm sorry you guys are having all of that snow right now. <laughs> Let's just see if we can get this on here, real cutie pie. Look at that. Here's some more inspiration for you. What could we do with that? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going back to my other. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And um, <laughs> Sheila, I see your I see your angry face now up there on my counts. Um, but yeah, so you guys, please don't uh, forget to um, to share. It helps me keep doing what I want, I'm proving to John B that they should love me. <laughs> I think they probably already love me. Let's get back to the uh, the brand here. I don't like it that this always goes off. This should just stay for the whole thing until I tell it not to be there, right? And as much as we love our beads of courage, we don't need them for right now. But anyway, so we're going to be doing that. Join me, join me. Friday night. Uh, gosh, where where is it now? Let's get this overlay up here. It'll show us right on here. Friday night. Um, um, the Desert Walk's going to be at 2 p.m. Pacific. That's 3 p.m. Arizona Mountain Time, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. And then right after that, you guys, is going to be the project preview. Uh, again, 5, 5 p.m. Pacific. You guys can do that time zone math. Um, and, and then again on Sunday, right down here, um, I'll be the very last one again to show you how to make this lovely thing right here. So, so much fun. It's a big, big, big weekend for me. And poor Jim has been not being paid very much attention to. <laughs> All right, busy. Busy this week. That's just how it is. <laughs> All right, my loves. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I hope you like this new format because it sure is easier on me. 
um, and I can do everything that I wanted to do in the other format um, that I can do in this one. Sandy Pohl, hello, Sandy. Gives you something to do. I can see the doctor has made me, and I can't do anything advisement. Oh, honey, I'll need to message you and see what's going on. Sandy is a, a friend from Upper Michigan, right, Sandy? Do you still live there? Uh, which is where I went to high school. Upper Michigan in the UP, not the Upper Lower Michigan. Don't you be telling me. Yeah, I know I'd be Ypsilanti and all that stuff. This is near Escanaba Iron Mountain, where US 2 and 41 meet. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this uh, this fun love ad infinitum um, and so much more you can do with just this uh, template just by, you know, gra grabbing either one or two of these templates. They are free um, at, um, at John Bead at the group. Um, let's see, where is that here? Um, you can, again, email it at John Bead. Um, or you can find the templates at Bead Projects and PDFs from John Bead Facebook group. Lots of stuff there, so much stuff. So you do want to sign up for that. Um, also, please do uh, join me on Instagram. That's my more art jewelry page where I'm doing some even uh, weirder, wackier stuff. Um, and um, also, please do sign up for my, while you're at Instagram on my landing uh, area page there you can sign up for my email, um, email blogs. I'm kind of gone down to like two or three uh, e-blogs a week. Um, don't want to inundate you guys so much, but if I think there's some stuff that you need to know, I'm going to visit you in your inbox. <laughs> I love, I love you, Miss Chris Gatso, and I love that you love my love. <laughs> I'm getting verklempt. All right. Mwah. I love you guys. And I will see you Friday. Now make sure I'm going to probably go live to everywhere, but um, we'll have to see. I've never streamed um, a live video before or a recorded video. So got some learning up to do before tomorrow night. Mwah. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Adios. Mm -hmm.